If you love what we do, then please consider supporting Cryptfail on Patreon. Your support helps us grow and to create more content more often. And now, on with the show. Which you had assumed was one or at least one guard just at the front somewhere listening to the uh, radio station. Or maybe had a TV yeah. thing up. But it's gotten louder. Only because the door's open and you're accessing the, the hall. <laughs> Alright. Can we get a sense of where it's coming from? Is it like yeah, coming the left, from somewhere the right, down the front? Or? You can't see it, but somewhere down the front. Oh, so okay. You're assuming it, like, you're not sure exactly where the main door is. It's probably where the two square bits is on the stairs. It's probably the, the actual main entrance. So you're assuming it is the first main square area is like the main foyer entrance, which would be. <laughs> it's the first uh, library slash hotel or it's kind of like a cathedral and the librarians just live there because the map in the adventure was ridiculous that's a lot of librarians well it could also be for guards like the librarians get their own rooms and then the guards well, they have look to like share beds, but they're actually guards. computer banks books oh. ah, or that. okay that makes sense <laughs> but we don't know that because we haven't been in those rooms no we've just seen a garden mm-hmm. yep and some guards <laughs> so we haven't so, seen any guards <coughs> who went out first I thought we could I think see Terrence guards went out first. We don't see guards, we can hear baseball, and we think a guard is probably baseball. like listening to the radio. And Terrence technically didn't go out, he opened the door and peeked. Yep. And did not see any guards. Just a garden. A guard free garden. Okay, so Terrence is going to try to perceive any noises beyond the uh, the game on whatever. Uh, device it is being broadcasted on. Like he's listening for footsteps or shuffling or breathing in the room nearby. The cipher's over at the tables and she's getting the chairs. Are the uh, chairs movable? Yeah. And she's turning them around to face the outside. Ah. Uh. All why right. Are you, why are you doing that? Uh, Terence perceives two times with two disadvantages. Um, you don't hear anything else, so you're pretty sure that the, the noise is like either a, you know, a, a cell phone kind of thing or a small um, notebook kind of thing, and it's definitely down the front area. Terence turns back to the other two. And he says, I think the way forward is clear. Cypher looks up from half turning a chair, completes the turn. Okay, cool. let's go. Sneaks over to Rin. What are you doing with those chairs? Just fixing them. Where are we going, Terrence? Now, there's, there's still three left. Can, can we at least fix it up on the way out? If, if there's time. Sure, if there's time and we're not arrested and we're not running for our lives or something, then hmm. sure. Because that's going to bug me all night. Uh-huh. I'm sure okay. it'll bug Lone Star 2 in the morning. And Terrence sneaks out into the hall. Yeah, Ren's going to follow. And Cypher will no. follow in. Are we rolling sneaking? Ooh, uh, good question. To, uh, in the northward direction, away okay, from so the noises. You're halfway between where you just came out of and the stairs, right in the centre of the map, heading north, when you hear the door on the far right open and footsteps coming down the side there. The stairs has, they're on a raised dais about five feet over the floor level that you're on. Uh, 
Terrence. <laughs> this is gonna end badly. Oh my god, Terrence, what is what is this blue square? Is that what I meant by blue? I, let me look at the original to blow it up. Is it water? It looks is like, it like a mat. A fountain. Uh, it could be. A, it could be. No, they would surely they wouldn't no. have a no, water it's just, in the library. It's just a big Maybe rug. It's no, a very fancy library. it's a. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, rug. a big rug. It's a big rug. <laughs> For people to lie on. Let's hide under the rug. No, they can meditate there while they're reading. All right, but is is that room right beside the rug? It has a door. Like, it has a door? It is not. Is the door open? All right. Uh, Terrence is going to try to sneakily, which is great because he sucks at sneaking. He's going to try and get to the door and be qu- be quiet about getting in it. Oh, Jesus. Um, stealth. Good. Um, How difficult is this? Two for now. What's everyone else doing? Is there anything immediately nearby? Wow. <laughs> oh, no. There's a okay. motorcycle in this library. <laughs> <laughs> or or well, outside. that'll distract the guard. Um... <laughs> It's a motorcycle goes by. Terrence gets very distracted. He trips on the rug and lands on his face in a big whooping. Oh, no. Poof. oh no! I was gonna say, is there anything immediately nearby that is hideable behind? Well, you under have the whatever? garden, which is not perfect, and directly ahead, it is a five foot tall. Um, yeah, that's where Cypher like, was running there's to. No co- there's no cover there yeah. if someone comes up from the bottom, because obviously if they come up from the bottom, you'll be flat against that. But from above, if he doesn't come right to the edge and looks down kind of thing, he wouldn't see you. Yeah. So would probably go there. Cypher's diving okay. over into the corner. Ren, okay. Ren's gonna stay and safe. Terry, are you still going for the... Terrence is on his face on a rug. <laughs> Ter- Ter- but yeah, his face on a rug. He fell. He tripped on the rug. Oh no! Yeah, give Do me we need to roll? Just so I, I got it. So. Okay. Yes. Is it too and Terry well? is just going for that door now. Okay. Yep. He's he's kind of kind of scrambled to his feet, okay. none too gracefully, and <laughs> he's still going oh. for it the is door. Terry. Unlocked. <laughs> And I will send you a message as you enter. How? Wow. Oh you my just don't gosh. Like me. Well, Cypher. Yeah, I guess Cypher's being, great. Being so the small thing that she Cypher's is. hiding behind Ren. Because <laughs> Ren went in second. So if anyone sees anyone that's going to see Ren first, they won't even <laughs> <Yeah>. notice. <laughs> The tiny girl behind Ren. Uh, they're the exact same height, so. I mean the okay. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same height, young okay. woman behind Ren. All right. Oh my now because goodness. this is too interesting, I'm actually going to pass it to you. <laughs> so, Cipher succeeded where Ren failed, but <laughs> Ren has the advantage. How does that actually work? <laughs> I don't know. That's great. I don't know, because we're in the exact same spot. I literally don't know how they could see me and not you unless you're right behind me. <laughs> but then I don't know what the advantage is. <laughs> they think you have four legs. <laughs> and how is that they an think advantage? you're a centaur. It's a piece of modern art. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's a centaur in the building. <laughs> Please explain how that's an advantage. (laughs) I honestly have no idea. Alright, so you're sort of like... (laughs) Went for exactly the same square, which actually happened when I was teens. We used to go running around as ninjas. We uh, saw some guys once and we both... Yes, we we did. (laughs) And we both ended up... um, Oh, I was across, but... Peter and Daniel Lear both ended up in the they went for the same dark patch and they leapt into the same spot inhabited the small little alcove and they both just made weird body shapes 
to try to break up the thing, and the guys walk by, <laughs> look in the darkness, and don't see them. So I'm, I'm, I am kind of picturing <laughs> Ren and Cypher both going for the corner, in having, both arriving at the same time and having that square, and just sort of being like, I was here first, you guys can move, this is <laughs> Trying to shove each other out of the hiding spot. <laughs> oh, chaotic sibling vibes. <sighs> this is where I was going to hide. So the footsteps come along the top. And I rolled for him earlier. And he came, you, you hear that come down the, the stairs and he walks into the open. And amazingly, turns left, does not see you. <laughs> and walks across past the rug and Terry hears no. the door open. What? <laughs> oh no! Jesus! Oh, Terry's no. in one of the bathroom stalls of the bathroom he wandered into. The oh, one at the no. far end of the room. He, he's got it locked and he's got his feet up on the toilet seat so that nobody could see his feet under the door and he's just holding his breath and he's sweating. <laughs> He's like fuck, 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 fuck. And Terry hears the oh, in his head. The other store not using his mouth doing that. Huh? He's trying to breathe very quietly. And it brings me great pleasure to say this is your scene. Um, Cypher's looking up at Ren and she's like tapping Ren on the shoulder. D- didn't yeah. Terrence just go in there? Yeah. What do we do? Did he need to go to the toilet or something? Like, was he Boston? Oh, he's probably hiding. Like we were trying to do. William, yeah. Didn't see me, did he? <sighs> Yeah, that's a miracle, but now what do we do? Well, we can't just go in there and say, Hey, Terrence, come on. <laughs> no, we can't! So, Terrence is going to have to listen to this guy. What, what did the guy look like? Like, like was regular... he like... Did he just... look like he was going on a mission? <laughs> on a mission? <laughs> <laughs> yes! He Did he look determined? determined? <laughs> Do I have to roll a constitution against I wasn't smell? Gonna, but you know what? But because oh, Adam fuck. Has, has put this he out there determined. as a Adam, how could you? <laughs> Adam. <laughs> well, you know, you have your guys that go. You know, just go to the toilet, and then you have your guys that go to the toilet. Oh and my it's like, god! It's a process, right? And I think we're starting to learn which one Adam is. There's way too much research you did for your paper on this. Uh Okay, here we go. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Survival! Just I thought it'd be like streetwise or something. Streetwise? <laughs> okay. So, Terrence is sitting all curled up on this on this toilet seat, and like all of a sudden he gets this like sour, dank smell in his nostrils. And he immediately feels queasy. He gets this cold sweat all over his body. And he gets like that, that like salivating you get right before you throw up. And he's like. And he makes a tiny, tiny noise. Because it's just that gross. (laughs) Depending on whether or not this, uh man on a mission is making a lot of noise doing what he's doing. I'm not sure if he heard Terrence gag a little bit. <laughs> he does. He's like, sorry. Oh, courtesy flush. Uh... And you hear the <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> the 
Thanks, man. Terence is trying to make his voice sound deeper than it is. <laughs> What's Ren and Cypher doing standing outside around it with his two guys, Terry and a guard in the other room? Do we, do we, should we move? Because if he comes back out, he might actually see us this time. Well, there's no commotion, so um, I'm betting... Yeah, but he's not going to stay there forever. Who? The... Whoever... I don't know. Guard? Who was that? I don't know. I don't know. The guard. Yeah. So... Exactly. Terrence would be safe where he is, right? I don't know. Should we go? I, we better take a, a, this chance where we can. I think <laughs> they're preoccupied. We'll just go off and do the little thing that we need to do. Uh, okay, well, we'd better go quick then. Before anybody right. actually yep. sees us. Lead the way, Ren. Okay. I guess we're heading up okay. the stairs quietly. Actually, maybe not. Because oh, you weren't so oh. quiet last time. <laughs> maybe you should I be was following quiet. me. quiet. <laughs> She's following I, Red. I was quiet. You were just in my way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it probably shouldn't be whisper arguing while it trying to very sneak on up point the for stairs. YouTube, <laughs> yes, it is. So, are we going? Are we going to the door in the middle, or are we going off to the? No, we're going to the door in the middle, right? Sure. Just up the stairs. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Is it locked? I don't know. Well, the idea is to turn the knob and to see if it's locked. Yeah. T t I, yeah. I, <laughs> do we think it's alarmed, though? Hello. Door. Uh, Are you worried? Cypher. <laughs> Surprise. The, I don't think the door is alarmed. <sighs> I think Terry is. Cypher. Cypher, I am worried. <laughs> Terrence is having his own. <laughs> Terrence is having a minor meltdown at the moment. Cypher, I am worried that if we open the door, it will set off an alarm. Not that the door is concerned. Didn't the guy just come out of the door? I don't know. Oh, no, he didn't. That's right. He came up. Uh, what about the around? Can you see if it's alarmed? Locks on it, like electrical, electronic locks, like uh, Give swipe me card a system. Give me white like roll. Ooh. You. Ooh, you've brought it up, so you. Yes. I, I was not the one who reduced this to potty humor. That was Terrence. Yes, you Anderson were. <laughs> this was your fault. Terrence is this suffering because of you. T Terrence ran into the toilet. He didn't but know it was a toilet. Was. <laughs> this is cruel and unusual Whenever punishment. Whenever Becca truly suffers, Too it's white. always an Australian that's behind it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. I mean, Two. there's a 50% chance that it'll be an Australian, so. That's right. I, I tell people I'm British. So it's, I'm in the clear. Do you? <laughs> so what'd you get? False. Two. But okay. Two white. Two white. <laughs> Two white. There, there is a... Two white. It's unlocked, actually. There's no lock. Two whites, there's no lock. There's no lock. And we don't see any kind of, like, thing nope. that looks like an alarm system it's All like right, i guess i'll try the door it's slight you know I mean? open it's and right in front of you <laughs> yeah. looks like three guards until you realize that they are three statues that are oh great positioned <sighs> what that almost gave me a heart attack who the statues cypher looks around 
Ren's shoulder. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get your point. Yeah, and let's keep going. Let's keep going. What's Terry doing? Alive like? Terrence is sitting there on on <laughs> his toilet lid. Uh, resisting the urge to gag, but the cold sweat is still there. He's just being as quiet as possible, despite the fact that the Not guy now knows he's it? there. <laughs> Hang on, nope, he's petrified. Flush? This this room is putrefied, and Terence is petrified. What what did you say about sympathy, Adam? Was there a sympathy flush? Yeah. Not a very effective one, I'm afraid. <laughs> the water just sort of mushed it around rather than oh. it down. Why would you say that? We're back to the Australian oh. comment, right? <laughs> Proving a point. <laughs> she, she said... She said no! it any You don't need to... <laughs> I'm so, I apologize. Terrence is just like quietly <laughs> crying in this stall. I know what Cypher is saying about this situation oh, no. right now. I wish I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and Ren and Cypher hear a door open behind you. Ooh. Behind, no. like immediately. Because you're in, you're where the statues are. Okay. That door is open. You hear a door open from the hall below. Um. Cypher's pushing Ren. Yeah, we'll get you in did? and close the door behind us. Give me a stealth check. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay. Please don't hate me this time, dice. Yeah. Same difficulty? Unless you want it to be harder. I don't. Oh. Well. We Except for the three disadvantages. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe the three disadvantages are you're, you're like sliding this perfectly, and as it's closing, you hear, We are legends. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Cypher. Quiet. But we did that so well. Shush. <laughs> Cypher's like biting her bottom lip at the moment. <laughs> she so wants to say stuff. lights go out. <gasps> Not for you guys, for her. For, for him, for Terry. Cypher blinks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> Alright. Ah. Uh. Uh. How tall are the guards? Eight foot. The statues? <laughs> the guards or the statues? Can she reach eight foot? No. no. Tip of the pen? No. no. Terrence might be able to, but that's like, almost probably like, not, because that's still two feet taller than Terrence. And I don't think his arms are two feet long. That'd be... Like, maybe Deflated. close. Deflated. Deflated. Jeez. Yep. Cypher's now deflated. <sighs> She's put the pen back in her pocket. Terence is going through the motions of slowly removing himself from the bathroom. Uh, he gets to the sink before he vomits in it. Because it smells horrible in here. And then he splashes some water on his face, which washes some of the dirt he put there off. 
<laughs> kind of his face was covered in dirt. Negates the effect of the dirt mask. Um, and then he peeks out the door to see if there's no one is in there. The hall, this so. is a flashback to episode two. Cipher is gone. Yep, Cipher <laughs> is <elevators>. gone. <laughs> Terrence looks around for a moment more and then he steps out into the fresh air, glorious, fresh garden filtered air. (laughs) (laughs) He takes a deep breath and then he heads towards the stairs as he figures that's the most likely direction either of them would have gone. That's putting a lot of faith in the decision making of the other two, but... (laughs) Terrence looks at the door. And he... will also look to both sides for his other options, which are both, what, long hallways with pillars? And then he'll look back at the door, and he'll kind of sigh. He'll be like, well, the worst that'll happen... Is that all set off an alarm? Did we hear him walking up the stairs? It's hard to specifically go, oh, that's definitely the guard, that's definitely... No, I just mean, did we hear someone walking up the stairs? Then then Ren is hiding behind an apparently eight-foot-tall statue. Terrence is currently hesitating between opening the door and leaving it closed. Is there, like, a gap in between The doors? Them? No, they're closed. Okay. He's gonna press his ear to the door and see if he can hear it. Terry, <laughs> his... <laughs> yeah. What's Cypher doing? Cypher's, Cypher's running around to the left. She's running off... ...around the corner. Give me a stealth check. Yeah, because if, Cyf- if Cypher succeeds, Cyphers. Terry hears no running. If Cypher fails... All dice have cancelled. All dice cancelled out. (laughs) So she neither succeeded or... There is some noise, but you can't tell what it is. Okay. Terrence is going to try and perceive, and I'm going to say, like, if, if he succeeds... He'll know it as footsteps, or, or like a running patter, or if he fails, it'll just be this mystery noise that freaks him out. Well, you might think that they're running towards you. Okay, so, uh, he does hear the running patter he's he's alarmed and concerned and his disadvantage (laughs) is that he's not sure what it is like he can't tell that it's cypher he's fairly Mm -hmm. certain it's not a guard he can't imagine why a guard (laughs) would be running around like that but like he's of skipping or anything he he's not sure if there's like an animal behind this door that'll attack him. <laughs> yes, the library guard tigers. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh crap! Oh no! No! Ah! <laughs> How could you? Uh, library tigers. Library tigers. Maybe we can like um take one out from the library. Anybody got a library card? That's a big kid. <laughs> You want to rent a library tiger? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Terrence is mildly freaked out by this noise. He's not sure what it is. So uh, he's going to step back from the door. He's going to look to the left where the the stinky bathroom guard came from and go, <laughs> no. And he's going to go right. Slowly. And along Slowly. the wall. Trying to look inconspicuous with his 
crazy, like, half damp, half frizzled afro that he's got going on in his dirt streaked face. Okay, so you didn't enter, you're going along the outside wall on the right? Okay. And it's mm-hmm. a passage. Big L shaped passage. Since... Oh. All right. Uh, as he as he reaches the junction, he's going to pause at the corner and peek around. There is not. You there. see a door at the far end. All right. He is going to uh, walk down to the end. He's going to get to this door, and he's going to listen there to is the door no again. There is on the other side. All right. He's gonna he's gonna look at the door. He's gonna perceive if there's any alarms set up on him. Which will probably be a bit more difficult because it's not his forte. Oh. Alright. So he stares at the door for a bit. And he decides it's a door. He, he's not sure about any kind of alarm systems for doors or necessarily how they work beyond locks. Uh, is there a lock on this door? All right. Uh, can one of the advantages be that the door is not locked? Awesome. All right. And he is going to... Uh, try to slowly open this door and begin. And the lights are off, but it looks like a room that would be used for uh, not necessarily study, but if there was a text that someone was knowledgeable knowledgeable about, they might be doing that sort of, not a lesson, but if they were sort of teaching about it or if they were examining it, it, it was it's that sort of room where you would have other other people who might be either learning about it or examining the same sort of thing. So the study, care, and restorative space in museums kind of thing. All right, so a space that he's kind of familiar with. And and he'll look around. And, yeah. In, in the dark tables and chairs that face each other so dark. someone could would be in the middle that would be uh, so that everyone can see each other if they were talking and there's space for someone if they were sort of hosting or leading the conversation would be in the middle uh, is there enough ambient light that he can see yeah, like, yeah, it's the not walls of the room okay uh, he will see the two, the two doors he has options of, and he will go. Wait, it should be in that direction, theoretically. And he will go towards the door on the left, and he will listen at the store. <laughs> And he will open and the door there's two and large check. tables. It looks like Peek more through. a study area, like more more for students, uh, college students, where you would sit side by side. Podium at the front for a lecturer. And there right. is. Terence is just kind of slowly wandering through the space cautiously by himself. Do you guys want to do some wandering too? <laughs> Uh, I mean, if nobody opened the door, then yep, Ren no would have gone that after door. Cypher, wherever she went. Then Ren's going after Cypher. Yep, and Cypher ran through to the, um, the... Okay, which the is the main room. display room, and <clears throat> you can see there is a magical pillar of energy in the center, and it's actually three layers going up like there's three stories of the ring each ring is like a story further up and the book is actually hovering at the middle ring yeah because um cypher was running okay. so <coughs> and then going when upstairs. you get to the, the middle ring you're at the same 
level as the book. You can see the book. It's about almost two, two foot wide opened up. It's quite large. Cypher's just kneeling uh, like she's got her elbows, her hand, um, chin in her hands, just um, leaning against the edge of the balcony, just looking at the book. She looks at Ren, who's obviously catching up to her. That's so big. Was. How are we going to carry that out of here? More importantly, how are we going to get it out of the magic glowy thing? Uh, well, it's a long way to the ground. I, would, I wouldn't like to jump over and get it, but just judging the distance is too far anyway. So yeah, um, I don't. Think I don't know. That's maybe really Terrence. Best bet. Yeah, we should probably find him. Do you think he's still going to the toilet? I, I don't think he was. Jesus, this is the elevator game all over again, isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's head back and see if he's still in the toilet. I guess. I guess. Oh wait, would the gods still be there? I don't know. Somebody was walking out there. Could have been Terry. I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One success. Ooh. One threat. One threat. All right. <clears throat> so what? it's suspended in magic. Yeah. But looking down there, at the base of it, as an electronic alarm. Okay. And there's probably a physical lock to get to that alarm too. <sighs> okay. So I'm cool. not sure about the magic though. So what I'm hearing is we need to get Terry. Aye. So that I can open a lock. Hopefully you can do something about electronic things and I, he can do magic. Aye. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Then we're set. All right, we better get back there as quick as possible. Yeah. But quietly. Okay. <laughs> Cypher okay. takes off at a trot. <laughs> Ren will follow as quietly as possible. Heading back to the door that we came in, where the guards are. Where the statue yep. guards where are. Where the guards are. <laughs> yep. Where the yep. tigers are. If we're just adding things. Open up the door. <laughs> Is anybody there? <laughs> Is anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? <laughs> Give me a wait. <laughs> you. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, because Cypher's doing this, you want me to do it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One <Okay>. black. <laughs> Terry. Terry, you went off and the irresponsible people are going to get... The responsible people. <laughs> The children are on their own. The t uh. <laughs> oh, dear? Frickin' heck, you're not supposed <gasps> to be there, she says. <laughs> it, she's <laughs> <laughs> waving <laughs> frantically and taps the guy on the back of the head. 
It's gonna charm this guy to sleep. Ow. <laughs> Try to. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Incarnation. Oh, okay. okay. Magnetic personality, from the, obviously. From the the cursing spell that she's learned. <laughs> You're not supposed to be. <laughs> well, he turns around really surprised. <laughs> I guess Ren is just kind of looking on horrified. How difficult do you want this? I have no Ren idea. Because <laughs> I don't know what you've done. <laughs> so, you know how Cypher was researching on how to make herself sleep? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you, you, She wants to make someone else sleep. Like, by cursing herself? Realistically, you know how far ahead you are in that research. Yep. Um, but she's in, like, a... Uh, having a guard just standing there right in front of her is... Yeah. So would two purple be... Yeah, I'll, I'll say that's fine. He's not a particularly, you know, strong wisdom kind of individual. He's a, he's a, <laughs> he's a minion guard. Mm. There's a minion guard? Yeah. That's what's on his pay stub. Um... Four success and an advantage. Oh, thank goodness. We were about to die, maybe. Not really. <laughs> what? We were about to die. <laughs> we're about well, don't, you don't, do. tell, Cypher, don't tell Cypher Terrence. Cypher found a guard. <laughs> oh, God. And he just... <laughs> down onto the and ground. And told him he wasn't supposed to be there. Why did, why did you so do? Turns turn back to Ren. What She's white do? as a ghost. Help! Uh, how? I, what, did you kill him? What did you do? I don't know. Did I kill him? Ren doesn't know <laughs> what you were doing. He's really successful. <laughs> No, he should be asleep for about four hours. Okay, so are we... Should we drag him somewhere? I don't know. Out of the doorway? Looking... Is there anyone around? No. Else around? No, not that you can see. Alright. Uh, uh, you grab the left hand, I'll grab the right. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll drag this heavy bastard back in here. Okay, we're, are we gonna lean him against the statue? Well, it's not. Oh, we're gonna drag him to a bedroom. Okay, great. Let's go. Just, so we're gonna try and drag this body, or this yep. person, to where? Not the body. <laughs> the body. Not the body. <laughs> I think just behind one of the big statues that's there, not very far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not very okay. far. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's Terry doing? Uh, Terry is continuing on his quiet quest. <laughs> uh, he Terry's is quiet quest. <laughs> having run out of options to go in the direction he thinks the big round room is, he is going to go uh, south to the farthest uh, left door. Okay. He is going to listen. He is nothing. If it is qu quiet, he is going to... Uh, is going to peek. It looks like a Dean's Lounge. Ooh. Where the Fancy. scholars come and sit and talk and be snobbery. <laughs> and be fancy. Uh, he will look around. Is there any of those, uh, fancy scotch decanters just hanging around. Sure. <laughs> Terence is going to pick the whole thing up. He is going to pull out his uh, teleportation box. <laughs> he is going to set it up on the table, put the entire decanter into the box, and activate it. 
Excellent. So that uh, a decanter of fine whiskey uh, probably ends up inside of a box sideways somewhere in their house. Because he hasn't unpacked it yet. (laughs) But he doesn't know that part yet. Anyway. And he continues, and he sees that there is another door on the left, so he's going to go and listen and peek. And yes, is there any noise at this door? Um, give me a perception check. Okay. Two purple. Three success and a disadvantage. Okay, you hear, you think it's Ren and Cypher, and only bits of the conversation, <laughs> you, you hear drag, he dead, where, really Cypher? <laughs> <laughs> and Terry's like, eh, the usual. Uh, Terry's actually going to be confused and he's going to open the door and kind of stage whisper at them. I'm not dead. Who the hell is that? Wait, what? We didn't think you were dead? I didn't think you killed anyone. Why would you kill anyone? She says she didn't kill him. Uh, did you whisper at, at them, or...? I assumed so. It was a <laughs> kind of stage whisper, so it was a bit louder than a regular whisper. Because he's... Like, I'm assuming we're still a bit apart, so if I proper whisper, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Cypher lets out a little yelp at hearing Terence's voice. <laughs> oh, shush! Holy heck! Shush. Where the fuck did that come from? Oh, well, t- oh. Holy it's heck. Terry. Where the fuck did that come from? Where did it's what come Terry. from? You. So she said that. I'm not an object. No, your voice. <laughs> oh. Make yourself appear, you fool. Are you, are you invisible? Uh, am I invisible? <laughs> <laughs> Terrence is like <laughs> looking at himself and he's like, what? <laughs> he's, he's walking towards you now and he's like, I don't think I'm invisible. <sighs> no, you're not. Cypher knocked this guard out. Huh. Cypher's breathing again. <laughs> and we found the book. Oh, good. We can go then. Well, we don't have it. Why not? Because we, you have to do some magic. What? Look, to get the book, we have to I have to open a lock, and somebody has to do electronics, and that's cipher, and somebody has to do magic, and that's you. Uh, I. What kind of magic? Sure. Uh. Uh-huh. Magic? It's glowy. It's like suspended one story up. Yeah. Floating, glowy magic. Terrence kind of pinches his nose, and then he's like, All right, where do I need to go to look at this magic? So I can get an idea of what it is and what I might need to do. This, this way. Terrence looks over and sees his... Well, Cypher's closing the door giant pillar of wait what door the door that that we dragged the guard 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 through through. door did you drag the guard through the door we opened and found a guard on the other side (laughs) of he's just he's only asleep oh is the door just down the hallway from where I entered 
No, it's we we this opened door. the right. main door yeah. at the top of the stairs. Uh, the main door at the top of the stairs. So I and just heard you guys and I came around the corner. Got it. That explains mm-hmm. a lot yep. of the confusion. <clears throat> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now Cypher's closed the door. The display room's this way. Yep. Yep, I see it. And Taryn starts climbing the stairs. And he's gonna lean over. And he's going to perceive this uh, middle layer of magic ring. So there's a big, possibly really clear, you can see when you get close to your reflection, you realize there's a, maybe a plexiglass cylinder surrounding the center. And it's keeping in there the temperature and air absolutely clean to protect the book. But it looks like there is a lock at the bottom which is physical a alarm which is mechanical and then there's a like a platform at the very bottom that the book would rest on when it's not being hovered by the magic can Terrence tell whether or not disengaging the magic would set off the alarms um it probably wouldn't, except if the book falls. Like, if the magic just stops and the book just drops the story onto the platform, that would probably set off the alarms. Okay. Uh, Terence stares at it for a moment, and then he's like, Great. My most proficient sort of magic. He's being incredibly sarcastic. <laughs> Gathered. Cypher didn't gather that. <laughs> so what you could do it then. What is it? Um. What? What's wrong? I'm going to have to huh? do something that's pretty tricky. When... Well, I thought you said you were good at it. Cypher was being sarcastic. When, when I deactivate the magic that's floating it up there, I'm going to also have to catch it so it doesn't just fall on the podium. Why? Because otherwise it'll set off the alarm. Well, but if we turned off the alarm first? That might be a good plan. I thought the idea was for land to break in so that I could access the terminal inside it and then I could turn off the alarm and then you can turn off the magic. Sure. Couldn't you just levitate it down? I could try, but I also have a hard time closing doors with my mind, if you don't recall. Well, if do we, we get... Do we know if... Um, like, does Cypher know if um, Terence has a teleport box? Or she does not know what it is? Um, I don't think we've she's encountered that has it's been explained to Ren but Cypher wasn't there yeah. Cypher was okay. hiding under That's a right. bed at the yep. time also it's much too small to teleport a book of this size I mean even if you can't levitate it down if we've got the alarm and everything turned off someone could just stand there and try and catch it I mean Either way, regardless of whether or not anybody catches it, that book is several hundred years old. If it lands hard on anything, it might just dissolve into dust. Well, that's why we can try to catch it. But I don't know. Hello, under it if we can find one. I don't it's know. a pity the library didn't have beds, you know, so you could <laughs> lay in bed and read books. We could just use a, Terrence a mattress. Give Cypher <laughs> the flattest stare. <laughs> Which looks absolutely ridiculous because he's basically a, an albino Ronald McDonald who's seen better days at this point. 
Cypher, I have never heard of a library with beds in it. And what more to attract people? What an idea! The, f the first library to have beds. Anyway. <sighs> Do we want Who's gonna catch the book? I mean, if Terry's doing the magic, we'd have to try and catch it. Mm, that won't work until it's closer to us. Uh, I'm just gonna have to trust in the gods of chaos to be on my side today. Please, Dice Maiden, or, like, please. <laughs> I thought this was Terry for a second, and I was going to say, is Dice Maiden a, a deity in game? It is now! <laughs> I shall kiss it thy is now. Dice Maiden. Show me thy favors. Uh, <sighs> Alright, Ren, so, you want to break in first? I mean, I'll try. Uh, what's this lock look like? Um, it's fancy, but it's not... It's fancy. It's not insurmountable. It's, it, it's definitely a regular... Um, it's a key. But it's a fancy key. It's not just like a door key. Fancy. fancy. It's more like what's called a tibby key. Is pulling out her laptop. Which has different indentations on it. It's more like a um, that sort of shape, okay. and it has indentations. We All have right. them. Is it anything I would have oh, seen yeah. before? Oh, yeah. They're harder to pick because the regular ones just have the tumblers that come down, and the different shape has different size. So when it goes yeah. in, they all line up, allowing the thing to turn. Yep. The tibby keys and that have these different indentations that pushes from the side. They're harder. They're meant to be. They were meant to be impossible to pick, but it's not entirely true. But by a shadow run standard, hopefully well, not. <laughs> by shadow run standard too, and the fact that you're meant to be a professional thief, there's there's ways around every lock. So would it be three purple? Would it be more? Um, what what are we looking at? You can do two and a black. I mean, you meant to, you meant to be good at what you do. And how much to Sadly. break into the alarms? Two and a black. Sadly, I don't have my fancy lock picks yet because we haven't had Christmas in game. Yeah, Ren's gonna pull out her set of tools and attempt. Well, I'll better to wait to roll to lock. see if Ren can open this lock first. Yeah. <laughs> With how Dice Maiden's uh, been treating me today, I wouldn't hold your breath. Fingers crossed. Oh, okay. By yes. a very slight margin. Yes. It's. It is by a very slight margin. Ren looks to be having a bit of trouble, but eventually you do hear a click and the lock is open. I don't like locks like this. Guess you're up, Cypher. Alright, I'm assuming it's my girl then. Thanks, so. Alright, she sits down, she puts the laptop um, in a cro on her cross legs, and plugs her computer in. Oh. Oh. I rolled a blue. Yep. Oh. Um, Not that it did anything for you. But it didn't you. do anything, so if you just roll a setback a dice on its own and then... Um, a strain, isn't it? Yeah, just just do S and then... So that'll add one threat, which cancels the this, the, the advantage, so you just advantage. have three success. <clears throat> yep, so I got three success. <laughs> Much easier for you than the lock was for me. All right. Terrence looks quizzically at Cypher. Cypher takes a deep breath. <laughs> looks down at her laptop. Looks up at the book. And then turns around behind her and looks up at Terrence. And gives him a thumb up. So what? And a smile. So what now? Are we actually trying to catch this book? It's pretty big. Well, I didn't actually ex exactly play catch with me, da. So you there know? is a door that ha is, you now know is not alarmed and is unlocked. Yeah, it's a door. That's what Ren had to like pick. So the door would open to give access to the podium area, which is like below the book. Okay. 
and yep, so yep. the lock was like the physical can't get in you and you turned off the alarm that was there if the door had just been opened or if the podium had been touched yep well cypher packs up her laptop puts it back into her bag dons her backpack and opens up the door <coughs> I guess she steps okay. inside. So, Terry, you're up there looking at the book, and you're like, okay, I've got to work out what I'm going to do with this, and suddenly there's a cipher, oh, no. like, bouncing on the same level now as the book. <gasps> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no! <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Fuck, you got to be fucking kidding me. Cipher, Terry didn't do anything with the magic yet. But I thought the magic was for the book. <laughs> well, I guess it's for anything that's there. Hey, she's turning in that. She's sort of like a bit like in Zero G, sort of spinning around, sort of unwieldy. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool in a way, but fuck. I'll <laughs> ask kind of you a, a bit... question, Aaron. <laughs> a bit crazy. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd gotten three quarters of the way through asking this question before Cypher did this. And I was just like, oh, God. Well, I guess Cypher can at least grab the book now. <laughs> so, from Ren's point of view, Cypher just walked in and you're sort of like, no, what? Uh, <laughs> darn it. Okay. What'd you get? I thought she knew the magic was still going. one black. You do not. Didn't think so. Any white, I would have said yes. Even a white and a black. <laughs> oh, goodness. Terence is staring at this, and he's just, like, shaking his head slowly. It's like, ridiculous girl that I'm going to have to try and catch her and make sure the book doesn't squish her. <laughs> the only thing that would have made this worse was if there was a wren in there as well. Dum, dum. <laughs> and the wren walked in this <laughs> <laughs> well, both the children Ren at play. Really, <laughs> Ren doesn't really know what's gonna happen, but she's just waiting just outside the door in case the magic just stops and and Cipher falls. She's gonna try and catch her, I guess. That would probably be a terrible idea, but she doesn't have a better one. And Cipher's gonna try and dra- grab the book, yeah. at least close it up and okay. grab it. Yeah, you can do it. Well, she's up there, but if I'm, it's like she's up there. It's she's about that wide. Okay. It's big. So you, you can. Oh, okay. So, can. so she can. And then when it's closed, it's half that. But I mean, it's still a big. It's about that thick. You, you're feeling. It's sort of in zero g. But you know, when you you sort of like. So, Ooh. can she like, you know, on, on the spine of it? Can she like wrap herself like yep. arms around and then wrap her legs mm-hmm. around it, sort of Why? thing, like a, Why like a monkey, ra- like yep. a monkey. She can. Terrence. And she's probably rolling around. Oh and she's like, Terence, I've got it. <laughs> I've got it, Terence. <laughs> Get me out of here! Terrence is actually very stressed at the moment. He's like, you realize that you've just put your life in in the hands of somebody who is not good at the magic he's about to attempt, right? You said you were good! I told you I was <laughs> being sarcastic! Oh, God. I get that! <laughs> Don't yell! He's, he's like, whisper yelling because he's very stressed. Is this both feet on the chair? the book moment? <laughs> I got I got she... one of them up. <laughs> one of them is up. If I fail this fucking roll, like I know I'm gonna I'm gonna just cry. Alright. Because oh, no. Cypher is gonna die and it's gonna be Terrence's Cypher. fault. Cypher will not die. How, how high is one story? Enough to get squished by Well, she just has to make sure the book lands first. A two hundred pound book. Yeah, I don't know how heavy it is. Actually, it didn't say, but it's big. I mean, it's 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 unwieldy. <clears throat> okay, mm-hmm. um, books like that usually weigh about the same as softwood of the same size. Like this is like an old book that you'd find a lot of those old church bibles and and 
thesis and that from you know the medieval period when they made these huge books with beautiful calligraphy and all that sort of stuff it's like very reminiscent of that so if you've ever held an encyclopedia imagine holding 12 at the same time and that's how heavy it is mm, not light yeah no. cypher's starting to realize her <laughs> error slight miscalculation I, I, I and judgment like, Hang I on. was sitting here. If there was a judgment, I was sitting here going, "Please go in. Please go in. Please go in. Please go in. Please go in. Ah, please go in." <laughs> there she goes. Oh, <laughs> hell! Well, it was a very cipher oh, well. moment, though. I genuinely yeah. wonder if you seriously want us to die sometimes. No, it, um, it was just chaos. <laughs> it was a good moment of possible chaos that cipher just played into beautiful. Terence is like kind of sat down and he's got his knees up around his head and he's got his hands like on top of it. And it's kind of like a panic pose almost because he's, cause he's got his head in between his knees and he's trying to breathe and he's like, oh god, I really don't want to squish her. <laughs> Yeah. Becca, if it makes you feel any better, I was pretty close to walking in as well, but I didn't. <laughs> Terrence looks around and he's like, "What? No, this was Emily. Not, I said Becca, not Terry." <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm playing it into the story anyway. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. That would have been funny. Well, like a couple of seconds well, later, there's red. Doing, 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 doing. Seconds later would imply she saw what happened to Cypher and was Try, like, Tried okay. to grab her. <laughs> this looks oh. like fun. <laughs> I might as well. Oh, jeez. You'd have both the children yeah, in there. She gets to have all the fun and float in the air. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Terrence is going to go back down to the bottom of the stairs and, and in into the light area just before the floaty magic bit. I was gonna say, don't go in. <laughs> All three of the characters are in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in there. <laughs> what I love about this game is every run sort of goes like this, but to everyone on the outside, it looks like you've brilliantly succeeded every mission apart from one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, they don't know how to got saying. it as long like as we on the get outside, it. They're like, they're a really good team. They'll get your book. They'll get your stuff. But when you see it, it's like, oh, it's yeah. wrong elevators, guards in bathrooms, <laughs> floating with the book. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely don't do anything stupid, ever. <laughs> what goes on on the job stays on the job. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's trying to delay this role as long as possible. You don't no, understand. I keep clicking on the dice rolls channel and nothing. <laughs> I really don't want to like, do this. Okay. The cipher's like, Red, okay. you should come in. This is fun. Uh, <laughs> no thanks, kind of cipher. Flirty kind of way. Yeah, that, that, I'm sure it's great. I'm gonna stay here. I like the panic talking. It didn't make me bring up my second foot at all. <laughs> 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 um, I'm not panic talking at all. Says cipher. I will reach through this screen to Australia to smack you upside the head. I swear <laughs> to fucking God. That would be impressive. <sighs> Didn't I that say at the start impressed. that the most pain comes from Australia? <laughs> oh, it's full of dangerous ideas. Anyway. Australia it, is? Where animals, every animal's out there to kill you and the people are just as bad. Only the spiders are gonna kill me specifically. Platypus are well, male platypus are venomous. I am definitely delaying. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> we can do it, maybe. Terrence is going to attempt to uh, siphon the magic slowly out of the enchantment holding everything up. So that it kind good, of descends a in idea. a slow manner. Aaron is like, I don't want that to happen. I want them to plummet. <laughs> no, I, th I think Terry's idea is better. 
come up here and catch me. <laughs> How difficult would this be? I have no idea. Like, now that right. it, it's... <laughs> um, just turning the spell off isn't particularly hard, but lowering it slowly makes it a little bit more difficult, and you have the added issue of a cipher. A cipher. But, having said that, the object is not to make this impossible. Mm. Okay, am I adding a red or a black? Your, your choice, what you realistically think, based on what Terry realistically has been. Hey! Ah, Terrence <laughs> succeeds. He kind of he kind of goes up to the edge of this of this magic cylinder, and he. Um, makes some bizarre hand gestures at it, like he's tapping in one of those uh, funnels for uh, <sighs> for maple trees when you want maple syrup. Uh, I see, I see. And he's just letting the energy. <laughs> Adam's yeah, Adam has no idea. Well, basically, um, have you ever seen the you Hunger tap Games? Spouts into the tree. So that the sap I don't know. We just drips out we into tap a kegs so we can get beer out well, of it. Yeah, well, same idea. idea. I mean, well, if it was a beer tree, oh, same idea. if it was a beer tree, you you tap the tap into the <laughs> okay. tree and you could turn mm. it on and you would get beer. Yep. In this case, maple syrup. But yep. you get the sap and then you make it into syrup. Yep. And Terrence oh, is so you don't you don't drink the syrup no. right away. No, it's well, like no. it's kind of like water. You need to yeah. cook it down. It's, it's got to process and, okay. and become more of the syrup. But you could drink it. I, it wouldn't I mean, taste I particularly good, but yeah. It would taste better than balsam sap. Balsam Ooh. sap tastes horrible. Oh. It's sort of like you, anyway. could, you could technically chew on the barley, but is that what you want or you want the beer? You could have both. Beef barley soup is really yes, good. You could have barley soaked in beer. Ooh. <laughs> I suppose. I don't think it would be any good, but you could. You could take barley okay. flour and batter something <laughs> with beer. Okay. <laughs> it's getting us nowhere. Cypher is not getting down. Okay. From spinning around. <laughs> Terrence is uh, slowly letting the magic of this spell uh, kind of out and to dissipate around the room. And uh, both Cypher and the book are slowly descending at... Uh, Spinning in circles still, but not quite as erratically, <laughs> and slowly getting less erratic as they get lower. And getting heavier. Oh, thank goodness. And, and getting heavier, As yeah. the zero-G is being removed from the book, the weight of it is slowly get, getting heavier. Yep. And Terence will say, through uh, an intense like state of concentration, like his eyes are completely unfocused, because he's putting so much concentration into this spell... He's like, Cypher, get out from under the book or you will be killed. Now, Cypher. Cypher lets go of the book and pushes it underneath her. And, um,. The book will uh, start to settle onto the podium that's waiting at the bottom for it. And as it goes on a 45 degree angle, Cypher uh, will probably land on it, I guess. Not heavily, but she will start to slide off the end because it's a 45 degree angle and probably tear the cover a little bit. That was successful. I I ain't tearing the cover. That's she's tiptoeing around That's it. My flavor text. <laughs> just say we found it like that. It's old. That was like that when I got in here. You didn't yeah, damage we'll tell it. Them it was like, like that when you use. got in the floaty magic. It's in rough shape, so the tiny little tear you created and falling off the end of it, like, won't be a huge deal. You don't. Think. Terence is like you could pass it off as a bit of damage that didn't get around to getting repaired yet, sure. Uh, 
Well, Cypher gets out of the um, Jeffrey's tube. <laughs> and stands up and brushes herself off. Terrence. Puts her hair back to normal. <laughs> She's still got cat whiskers on her face. Uh, she can't straighten them up. They're already drawn on crooked. Mm. Uh, Terrence will sag to the ground. And he'll just kind of like puff and puff there for a little bit. He's got like sweat pouring down his face. He's exhausted. That was really difficult. Uh, good job. Nobody got squished. Not for lack of trying. Yeah, well, if she had her way, she probably would have died a hundred different ways by now. She's not very careful. Who are you guys talking about? I wonder. Oh, no. How are we going to get that thing out of here? Well, we're going to have to carry it. Well, I'm just a wee little girl. Don't look at me. You're not any smaller than I am. I'm the brains. You're the brawn. No, I'm not. Oh, no. She was looking at Terrence. <laughs> Terrence kind of like looks up at Cypher from his position of sitting on the floor. His legs are kind of sprawled out and his arms are limp at his sides and he's got his head sideways and a very irritated look on his face despite breathing heavily. Look, at least two of us are going to have to carry it and I can lift part of it probably. Cypher? Hang on. Let me. Let me. Terry looks tired. You want to come lift the giant book with me? Try something that might make it easier. Are you sure? Could you, you cast can? like a feather spell on it? I was to just gonna it, like, ask God about that. Huh. And how difficult you, it well, would be. I swear. I came across a spell like that in one of the books I was reading. But I've never. I mean, I could shrink it, but it would still weigh just as much, like like our luggage. It's, it's the same principle as the magic that was holding it there already. It's just not as focused and not as intense. You gotta maybe let a foot off the ground so that we could just push it along. Cipher, I didn't really study the magic. I let go. I just let it go slowly, as slowly as humanly possible. So that you didn't get squished. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I could try it, I though. Guess. Thank you <laughs> for not squishing me. Just, yeah, you're lucky. You said you're good at it. I had faith in you. I'm sure he's flattered, and not at all stressed. Holy shit! Okay, so uh, Terrence kind of looks sideways at Cypher for saying that she had read how to do levitation magic in a book. And he's like, huh, I should take a look at that book sometime. And then he turns towards the book and kind of just uh, very weakly raises his left hand towards it and squints his eyes. And this... Uh, like, this invisible force that you can almost see, just like a light ripple in the air, goes towards the book. And uh, the podium it's on kind of creaks a little bit. And the book is now floating a couple inches above it. It's not spinning or anything, it's just oh. kind of steadily floating there. Nice. Well, I was going to say that you could have just looked at the book in the virtual library when I get that built, but it looks like you got already under control. I think you already know how to do it. You're better than you think. <laughs> well, studying never hurt anyone. He gets up and um, 
he goes to gently nudge the book. And as he gets it over the edge of the podium, it seems to fall for a second. And then, like, it stops and it's hovering an inch above the ground. And he's like, see? It's light and it floats, but not above a couple inches above whatever surface it happens to be near. Cypher's got a hand up in the air, as a, with a finger up, as if she's like, uh, yes, bursting to Cypher? ask a question. Yeah. If the question is, can you ride it? No, you can't stand on it. I would you can't suggest ride not. It, no. The book is not indestructible. It's just really light right now. And Cypher becomes immediately deflated. <laughs> Can't, you can't. It won't float anymore if you do Well, that. it might, but it also might start tearing itself apart and turning into dust. We've just taken out of its perfect condition bubble. It's not. But yes, if a, it's a If I buy a surfboard, you could do that to it. If if you what? So if I buy like a boogie, a boogie board, board. <laughs> you could cast that spell on. Uh, right. How about this? We'll practice with an actual carpet at home once this job is done. Uh. Sound good? Carpet? She's looked a little bit. Mm. I think a bit boogie board would be a, a better idea. Well, but I yeah, have a carpet. I do not have a boogie board. Yes, Can we please. Go? <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? Jesus. <laughs> All right. Can we leave? Terrence starts shuffling the book towards the door. And <laughs> shall we end there? Saf is following. Yeah, Ren's following. Mm -hmm. And we'll pick it up next time. The end. Shutter Run: A slice of life adventure in a dystopian future. Starring Becca as Terry the Mage, Raven Insane as Cypher the Hacker, Emily as Ren the Thief, and Ghost as the GM. The excellent Shadow Run is produced by Catalyst Game Labs. The Genesis rule set comes from Fantasy Flight Games, and many of the sounds and music comes from Sirenscape, which is an amazing tool for bringing more life to your game table. This has been a Crit Fail production.